Hi, I'm Dean the Reading Machine, and today I'm reading How the Grinch Got So Grinchy. So I watched um how how the Grinch stole Christmas in uh, Imagine Cinemas in uh, Promadon, right? And it was a blast. There's these seats that went up and then up and down with the bed. It was cool. The movie was a great success. It was a blast. It was good. And I love the popcorn. The popcorn was salty. The seats that went up and down like a bed. Um, so the Grinch was funny. After a little girl, she said that Christmas is just not the presents, it's inside your heart. And instead of it, it was two times smaller, it went like a bubble. Came a little bit bigger. Boom, boom. And it went to the regular side. And then he gave all of it back, the presents back. When the back, he got invited to a Christmas dinner. And he was good. Max was a servant. He rings a bell. It's either he rings a bell either in the bedroom and there's all these bells and it's his bedroom. Ring he goes to the bedroom. Workshop, kitchen, wherever it is. And it was funny. So, enough about that. Let's start reading. How the Grinch got so grinchy. Unlike the Who's, who like Christmas a lot, the Grinch in his cave, on my crumpet, did not. He was born to hate Christmas, most people will say, but maybe his life was what made him that way. Twas the night before Christmas, quite some time ago, the night new Who babies fell down with the snow. They fell down to earth on their soft promabellas. These little Who gals and these little Bellas. The Who parents greeted each bundle of joy except for this one s- sad, somewhat sad little boy. No Who seemed to hear him or want him or need him. No Who came to hug him or clean him or feed him. At long last, two Who gals came out and they found the source of a most unadorable sound. They got down the baby who hung in a tree. They pulled down the blanket and what did they see? A fuzz cover baby. Yes, fuzzed every inch. He was in a who, so they called him a Grinch. The two gals, they fed him and cleaned him and oiled him. They fuzzed him all over. Yes, those gals really spoiled him. The Grinch was their pride, the Grinch was their joy, they treat him like any other who boy. With all of his fuzz, he was really quite cute. Come, come, can winter you well? Without a snowsuit! Yes, Dan, yes. Life for that boy was handy and cool. Until the first day of his life at who school. The students, they stared, and they teased him as well. They made fun of his fangs and his funky grinch. The teacher, Miss Ruhu, whose job was to teach him, was not very good, but she still tried to reach him. She drummed in the lesson that every who knows from the ends of their hairs to the tips of her toes. Put Christmas ahead of all other who days. Make Christmas your mission in millions of ways. Take every hall, stop till you drop. Jingle those bells and don't you dare stop. 
Is it really worth it? The Grinch had to mutter. Then something happened to make his heart flutter. Young Martha May Hoover, who started staring and winking, because she really liked me, the Grinch started thinking. Hoobalations tomorrow, Miss Ruhu told the gang, and she slammed the book shut and the who school bell rang. Bringing a present for sus- a special some who, go in and shop, so we can do. He went home and worked with some junk that he had from a bunch of old junk. It did not look so bad. The angel would sit on the top of her tree. Whenever she sees it, she would think of me. He found an old razor inside an old sack. He started to scrape, he started to sack. So bad was the job that he did on his face the next day he hid from the whole human race. Miss Ruhu took one look at the Grinch and she said, Please take that paper bag off your head. Now August May, who one today would be the mayor, like Martha May too, and he did not play fair. This guy must be under some kind of curse. The face or the gift? I can't tell which is worse. The Who gang went bonkers. They laughed and they cheered. August is a boss Who. And they was the cheer and they all cheered. Your Christmas is stupid. Most of the Grinch had then cried out. He started to scream and he started to shout. He started to jump and he started to thread until all that he touched it turned into his trash. So off the Grinch went to his cave on and crumpet as, and as all for the who they couldn't like it or lump it, he stayed in his cave with a snow on his face, hating the who and the whole human race. He lived all alone, yes these are the facts, except for this cute little puppy dog. Max. So whenever the meaning of Christmas gets hazy and the seasonal church makes crunch. you crunch gets him makes you get a bit crazy. Just think of the Grinch in his cave far away. And remember that he wasn't always that way. And forget all the things you have read or have heard. The Grinch needs a friend and he needs a kind word. The end. Be kind, because you don't know what happened in people's lives before you've been their friend. Like the Grinch had a bad school day. Be kind. See you later, folks, and have a wonderful day. Read a book a day and always, always be kind. the news reporting live my house bye guys no, no. bye guys